becoming a, a surfboard shaper to me means so much. Um, it involves a lot of different things. It's being creative. It's understanding the history of surfboard designs, all the shapers that have come before me, everything they've done with surfboards, understanding um, hydrodynamics as well, the way the water moves, the ocean moves, the way the, the, it interacts with the surfboard. So looking at the past, um, looking forward to the future, on how we want to ride our surfboards and also the materials that we're using to make sure they're more sustainable for the planet. Taking all that and putting it together and creating a fun object that can be ridden by lots of people and just taking their surfing to another level and their enjoyment of being in the ocean and connecting with the planet. There's a lot of influences from um, surfboard manufacturers before, like craftsmen I should say more than manufacturers, that hand shape boards and that went through the design changes of the surfboard from the single fin to the twin fin to the quad fin to the five fin. So those people like Richard Harvey, Dick Van Strallen, Alan Byrne, Jeff McCoy, all those guys really influenced me a hell of a lot, riding their boards, enjoying their boards, taking all those elements and putting my, my ideas and my twist on them. So my surfboards are eco-friendly, which means I'm trying to use the most environmental products I can that are performance-based. Um, we need to do that, we need to do that in all aspects of our lives at the moment. Our planet is, is dying, we're killing it, we haven't looked after it. As surfers, we need to be the ones that lead the charge, we need to turn this thing around, otherwise there's going to be nothing for our kids. There's going to be no surf. There'll, there'll be world champions that have never even been in the ocean that just grew up surfing wave pools. Now that's a scary thought. Custom making surfboards is, is such an awesome thing to do. If you can connect with your customer and really understand their needs and their wants and the waves they want to ride and what they want to do, and then you understand all the design elements of a surfboard and you can put that all together and then you can make amazing boards that people have so much fun on and it lifts their, their enjoyment level and their performance level up and they have big smiles on their faces and when I get a text that says my board goes unreal it makes my day and that's why I make surfboards.